Change your heart, change your life, change the planet. Hey everybody, I just finished the first leg of this journey, a beautiful four and a half mile trail run. And the word beautiful in that sentence is the most important. Run is secondary to beautiful. Because when you're trying to get started, when you're trying to get into action, when you're trying to move towards something, you want it to feel good. You want it to be attractive rather than repulsive or aversive. Okay, if you think of it as something that's going to be hard, you're going to be repelled by it. You're going to be averse to it. But if you can make it attractive, if you can make it enjoyable, you're much more likely to move towards it. So I picked a place that I love to run. So I don't even notice the running as much as I notice the scenery that I'm moving through. And then I bolster that with a great audiobook. So I'm listening to something that's inspiring, that challenges me, that really gets me to think deeply, that opens me up in a beautiful place. So I've got this double whammy. Beautiful place, really fascinating book, and then I forget about the fact that I'm running, or at least I forget about the fact that I'm starting the run. Because once I get into the run, then I feel good. Sometimes there's a little bit of a warm-up period. So I'm greasing the path <laughs> with the book, and with the scenery. So that by the time that I'm warmed up, I'm already feeling good because I'm in a good mood when I start the run. Make your workouts attractive. Not workouts, but playouts. I'm on a playout right now. All right, and then as it goes along, all kinds of fun stuff plays out. So keep that in mind. You don't want the steps to be aversive. You want them to be attractive. Okay, the steps, the process, you've got to make that attractive, not simply the end result. Because that's what most people do, they focus on that end result. Like, I'm going to win this race, or I'm going to run an ultra marathon, or I'm going to lose 100 pounds, and that's attractive. But the steps that they have to take are not so attractive. It's like, oh man, I've got to eat this strict diet, or I've got to work out, and it's not fun. I need to hire a personal trainer or a coach, somebody to whip me into shape. I need to go to a boot camp. I need to do some kind of cleanse to lose 20 pounds really quickly so that I can begin working out. Attractive goal, ugly process. So what you want to do is make the process attractive. You want to make the steps attractive so that you're drawn towards them. So what can you do? And if it's music rather than a book that you want to listen to, make sure it's music that makes you feel good but not music that amps you up because we're just getting started. We don't want to be amped up yet because then we're going to train too hard, too fast, too long, and we're going to get hurt. We want to be gentle in the beginning. So pick music that puts you in a good mood, that makes you feel good, but doesn't get you revved up. We're not ready for that yet. Revved up comes much, much later, okay? So step one, I got out here running. Step two, well, maybe I don't have the right equipment. I don't know, I, I don't have the right shoes. What do I wear? Well, take a look at what I'm wearing. The shoes that I have chosen to begin this journey on are a pair of Saucony Kinvaras that are probably four years old. And these guys are ripped to pieces. I'm busting out of the side. The foam is largely compressed. Most people would throw these guys away. But to me, they're perfect. It's a little bit wet out there. And I didn't want to ruin a newer pair of shoes, so I used these guys. And I did not notice for a second that they were busted up. So don't get stuck in the paralysis of analysis as you try to figure out what gear you need to get in order to get started. The gear you've got right now is good enough. I don't care how broke down your shoes are, they're good enough. I don't care what kind of watch you've got, or maybe you don't even have a watch, good enough. Just get out there with what you've got. What you've got is good enough. Where you are is good enough. Who you are is good enough. You don't need to be somebody else in order to get started. You can start right now as you are, okay? Gently, compassionately, make it attractive, make it fun, make it interesting, and you'll do it. You'll take the steps, all right? I'll see you tomorrow. So he's doing 50 miles a day, up and over mountains, rocks and roots, and thick mud every day, soaking wet, but getting up regardless, putting in the work. That's what inspires me, not the end result. It doesn't matter how fast he completes the AT, whether or not he breaks the record. It's not the point. The point is, he showed up every day. 